Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verse is coming from Isaiah chapter 45, verse three. It reads as follows. I will give you hidden treasures, riches stored in secret places, so that you may know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel, who summons you by name. I read a story recently in the news about a couple who beat the lottery. Yes, you heard that right. This couple in the Midwest found out how to beat a couple of lottery games and came out of the ordeal with their partners $26 million richer. The husband was a mathematician who had worked as a materials analyst at this large company. He had recently retired and was in a convenience store and was reading a brochure on this lottery game. He read the fine print and being a mathematician, quickly realized that the game had a flaw and that he thought his theory was if he played a certain number of tickets, he was guaranteed to win. He was guaranteed to beat the game. He and his wife tested his theory and won $16,000, after which they went on a journey and bought literally thousands of lottery tickets for this game and another game like it in another state enlisting the help of their family and friends, setting up a corporation for the whole situation, keeping all receipts and records to show the legality of it, and amassing a gross amount of $26 million. A movie was recently made of their story. Now that's what I call secret treasure. Now, huge, huge, huge caveat, huge caveat, I am not telling you to play the lottery, I'm not unless of course you're a mathematician and know how to beat the game. <laughs> I'm joking, but I'm not telling you to play the lottery, but I want you to see a couple of things in this very real story that happened within the last 20 years. It was almost as if God just wanted to bless this man. He knew this particular man would know the mathematics of this particular game enough so to win. He just wanted to bless him and his wife. It almost became like their retirement adventure, their retirement fund, where they set up this corporation, enlisted family and friends, and they beat these two lottery games, literally shutting the games down. God just wanted to bless them, and he did, and threw in a movie on their life story, on the story of this situation to boot. Our verse today notes that God will give you hidden treasures, riches stored in secret places so that you will know that he is the Lord. He is the God of Israel who calls you by name. God owns it all. He really, really does. And we are tempted because of stories that we hear in the news about inflation and gas prices and grocery prices and car prices and housing and rent and mortgages. We hear all these news stories about everything going up, up, up. And Honestly, we are tempted to think, you know, Lord, will I have enough? Everything is so expensive. Everything is just seeming to get worse. How will I make it? But just like God owns it all, God knows where the secret hidden treasures are and he owns them too. And he knows how to transfer them into your hand. You don't have to worry about money in this season. You don't have to worry about money. God knows where the money is. He knows where the secret treasures are. He knows how to get them into your hands. Literally, God owns the cattle on a thousand hills. It all belongs to him and you are his child. Now, can we be wise in this season and do our part? Absolutely, you bet. And what is our part? To be good stewards over the money God gives us, to pay our tithes, to save and invest, to not waste when possible. But will God take care of his children? You bet. And just like the mathematician, God knows the secret treasures and he can transfer them right into your hands. Do not fear. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you are our provider, God. You provide all of our need according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And I pray, Lord, that you would transfer secret treasures, God, to those who are listening to or watching, Lord. Lord, provide for them. Take away that fear. Let them know, Lord, that you are right there with them. You see that need. You see what they have need of, Lord, even before they ask, God, and you will provide for them, God. Thank you, God, for helping us to be good stewards, God, to, yes, be faithful over what you've given us, Lord, to pay our tithes, Lord, to save, to invest, to not waste, God. And we thank you, God, that you will supply all need, Lord, according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus, in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. God bless you. God loves you. Have a great, great day, and I will see you next time. I love you guys. Thanks for watching.